When you talk about evolution, Darwinism, people sometimes get scared. They think it means the strong should survive and the weak should perish. Survival of the fittest. Survival of the fittest. What a bleak vision. What are we? Nothing but a freakish collision of selfish genes selfishly promoting their own individual interests? That's bleak, man. Well, maybe, but maybe those interests could still be collective. It's just that phrase, survival of the fittest. That phrase gets twisted all the time to justify the meager existence that poor people live with, right? It's a phrase that gets enlisted by social parasites who use it to promote their own selfish interests. I'm talking psychopaths, and eugenicists, and deregulated traders of economic derivatives. Narcissistic American presidents. But social Darwinism is not scientific. It's a kind of sickness. Merely saying that something exists in a state of nature doesn't give it a moral basis. That's a false correlation. I mean, it's true that competition can increase motivation, but evolution is all about cooperation. Just ask the Dictio Stelium Nation. Those are slime mold amoebas, y'all. Each of them is a separate single celled organism, but when they get into trouble, when they run out of food, they combine into a multicellular super organism and they all survive or die together. That's just like the origins of multicellularity, but before that there was endosymbiosis, right? That's when bacteria combined into eukaryotic cells and became organelles within those symbiotic shells. And there are 50 trillion eukaryotic cells making up our individual selves. So each of us is a physical space where a creative collective dwells. And that applies to the societies we erect as well. Cause survival of the fittest, can also apply to groups, and the fittest group just makes the best combined moves. So, can we all just get along? Whatever we try and do. Group selection puts me in an altruistic mood. I'm like, yeah, love thy neighbor. Was that? You need some sugar? I no problem. Come by later. Of course I'll do you a favor. Why is that? Cause I got the compassion of a vampire bat. Vampire bats feed other starving bats and all that, right? They even make Bill and Melinda Gates look bad. See, if you need some food, I do what I can. It doesn't matter if we're not related. You still my man, and you still my sister. Ooh, I feel high, man. This universal love is good stuff. God damn. And you don't even have to reciprocate either because karma is a sophisticated teacher and karma doesn't mean like energy waves in the ether now karma's in the way that everyone hates a cheater cheater detection will keep you in check if you don't treat other people respectfully so go ahead take what you want run me down because i believe what goes around comes around liars and thieves and those who try to deceive get dealt with by their own reputations or by the police or by communities or just all the immune systems of society and survival of the fittest don't let it baffle you because fitness is just another word for aptitude between you and the habitat you're adapted to so try to relax and adapt your attitude i mean the habitat you have to adapt to is the group because without the group you would be panther food so stop asking what the group can do for you and try asking what you could do for the group. Is that cool, yo?